I have Alzheimer's and I have no control over it. It was a tremendous blow to me, as well as to all my loved ones. Research is giving all of us a much longer life. Alzheimer's disease is becoming an epidemic. It is affecting more and more people, devastating their lives, devastating their families. It will consume our societies financially and otherwise if we don't figure out a way to conquer the illness. The brain is what makes us human, and it's the most complicated organ in the body. You combine that with the human genome, which is the most complicated roadmap ever seen, that gives you an idea of the level of complexity that we're trying to tackle. At Mount Sinai, we're taking a uniquely broad perspective to the illness. We have put together a range of expertise that is unparalleled among medical centers in the United States. Allison Goat is a world expert in identifying the genes that cause Alzheimer's disease. Sam Gandy, a physician, is an expert in understanding how those genes cause the illness. And Mary Sano is one of the leading clinical trials experts in the country who can demonstrate whether new treatments are effective or not. We're now really approaching how not only to treat the disease, but how to prevent the disease. We measure activities of daily living, subtle changes in the first cognitive signs and symptoms that they see, subtle changes in their ability to function. So developing those skills is critically important so that we have ways of knowing when a person is improving or changing. We look for early leads that could find treatments, find therapeutics that could turn around even at the earliest stages, even changing the most subtle sign of deficit. We now are on track to have the very first uh, meaningful treatment for delaying the progression of the disease. There's a material called amyloid, it's a protein, that's made by all cells in the body. In Alzheimer's disease, for reasons we often don't understand, that material forms these deposits called plaques, and they are poisonous to nerve cells. And as those nerve cells die, the circuits that they were subserving fail. We look at why this amyloid builds up, and more importantly, what we can do to stimulate its clearance. And we're now using uh, computational approaches, supercomputers, to model that disease and to use what we learn to clear away the buildup of amyloid. We now are on track to have strategies for replacing nerve cells that have died due to Alzheimer's disease. At the Ronald M. Loeb Center for Alzheimer's Disease, the work that we do provides the foundation for the development of new drugs. And genetics is going to help us identify the targets for those drugs. The goal of my research is to identify genes that are involved in risk for Alzheimer's disease. We're looking at trying to identify the fundamental mechanisms behind developing disease. And we're doing this by looking at the DNA sequence in each individual. So we have 23 pairs of chromosomes and three billion base pairs, three billion letters. And we're looking for spelling mistakes or punctuation marks that change the meaning of those strings of letters. If we don't have the right punctuation or the right spelling, then the result can be diseases. There's really no group in the country that has had the leading positions that Mount Sinai has had in Alzheimer's disease for such a prolonged period of time with so many firsts. We're not gonna stop investing in research and clinical care of Alzheimer's patients until we make the kind of discoveries that make a difference. The bottom line is that uh, I have to live my life and uh, I have to live it not only because I love life, but I've got a lot of people around me that love me and that I love them.